In this video, we're going to have a look at changing between standard form and ordinary numbers on a Casio ClassWiz. Now I'm completing this video with an FX991EX, but all the information is going to be equally valid if you've got the FX83 or 85 model instead. It's exactly the same procedure for those two, so it's going to be completely relevant for you too. Let's take a look at the question. We'll just do this in three separate parts. So part A, write 0.0000682 in standard form. Now it really is up to you whether you want to use the calculator. This You might find it quicker and easier just to do it manually if you're comfortable with that. Now before the start of the video I reset the calculator and so we're back to default settings, factory settings and the default setting for the number format is something called norm1, one, normal1 one. and that will display any number in standard form once it's larger than either times 10 to the 9 or smaller than 10 to the minus 2. So it should give us our answer in standard form straight away. And I'll show you how to get to that number format if you're not in that. Let's input our number 0 0.00000682 and press equals. And because we're in norm one, straight away it's given the answer in standard form 6.82 times 10 to the minus 5. The normal number format that I recommend and how you should really have your calculator most of the time, unless you're working with standard form or like working with standard form, is norm 2, normal numbers 2. So to set that up, it's shift, set up, 3 for number format, 3 for norm, and then 2 for norm 2, and equals just to change that, and here we've got it back to normal numbers there. And it will use ordinary numbers up to numbers greater than times 10 to the 9, so really large numbers and really small numbers as well. It will then include standard form or science notation from then on. So for most of your working, it will be ordinary numbers, which is probably going to be useful for the majority of you out there. Once again, if you wanted it as norm 1, it's shift menu 3, 3, and then 1 for norm 1 equals, and you can see that's changed it to standard form for us. Now, if I wanted a general standard form number, let's say that I had maybe a number that only had two figures and I wanted to change that, or if I just wanted to change it to standard form in general, uh, well, it's under the setup menu and the number format menu is science notation, which is another way of describing standard form. So it's shift setup, three for number format, and then two for science notation. Now this bit I always find a little bit tricky. We've got to select from zero to nine, and this is the number of decimal places that it will display on a scientific notation number. Now, although potentially we're going to end up with two in this particular example, I would always press nine here because that allows you up to nine figures in your answer. And if we have less than that, it will just display some insignificant zeros, which we can just ignore when we're writing our answer down. So there's not really anything to be lost by doing that. So if you just choose nine and press equals, this is how it would appear in scientific notation. And again, we've got these insignificant zeros here. We can just ignore them when we choose to give our answer. 6.82 times 10 to the minus five. So if you wanted to work in standard form, that's the format that I would recommend you using. Let's have a look at part B, write 9.176 times 10 to the 7 as an ordinary number. Let's input that into the calculator. Remember, we're still in scientific notation as our number format. You can see there's a little psi here at the top, which just confirms that for us. Now, there's three ways we can enter this. 9.176, and then you can press the button down here, times 10 to the x, which should give you a very small times 10. On there and then you just need to input the exponent which in this case is 7 so you just press 7 and then equals so at this stage it's just given us back our answer in science notation in standard form because that is the number format that we've got in there I'll show you how to change that to an ordinary number in just a moment there's two other ways you can input the number if you don't like using the times 10 to the x button at the bottom you can input it in and basically write it out so 9.176 times 10 and then use your general power button your general index button to input the 7 and that will give you the same result 
or for some bizarre strange reason there's actually a third way that we can input it here so 9.176 times and then we can press shift and then the log 20 base button you can see there's 10 to the power of here times 10 to that and then you just input your index 7. Now obviously as I've said your answer at this point is still being given in scientific notation we want normal numbers so we've got to change the number format to norm 2 so we want shift and setup and then number format and then 3 for norm and then 2 so norm 2 equals to change our answer and here we have our answer as an ordinary number. So how would we say that? 91,760,000 as an ordinary number. Let's take a look at part C. Divide 8,500 million by 250. So let's input that into the calculator. 8,500. Now you can put times 10 to the 6 if you want here. If you're comfortable with that being a million, I'm just going to go for six zeros. Make sure I've got enough zeros there. And then divided by 250 equals remember our answer is in normal two that's ordinary numbers we want to give our answer in standard form so i'm going to use the science notation shift set up three two and then nine will have the full display that's 3.4 times 10 to the seven and again just ignore these insignificant zeros that we've got there and to change back to normal let's shift set up number format three and then norm two equals and then it's just giving it, it us as a normal ordinary number again so there we go how we can change between standard form and ordinary numbers on the calculator as i said previously you might find it easier just to do it manually it's really a shame that there's not a way that you can press a button to scroll through different formats of the number that would be very useful but this seems to be the quickest way if we did want to change to standard index form if we did want to work with standard index form certainly if we wanted to get calculations using it then we can change to this science notation to ensure that all the answers given are going to be in scientific notation remember if you want larger and sm really small numbers in standard index form anyway you can always choose norm one but most of the working I would probably recommend choosing norm two which means you need a very very large number or a very very small number for it to change to standard form but that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time on the Calculator Guide.